I'm going to be changing my front tyre from the D6 Dunlop 605, which is more of a 50 50 road dirt tyre, to the Dunlop 606, which is more of a knobby. So, as you can see, it's quite a difference in tread. The old 606 is more of a knobby open tread pattern. Um, feels like a pretty solid tyre, it's got a good solid hard wall. Alright, that's the easy part, getting the wheel off. Right, I'll loosen off the bead lock. Now I've got this, uh, these tyre levers off of eBay, it's a set of three. I think it was about 26 bucks or something, but I'll tell you what, best thing I ever got. Nice little spoons. Much easier with three. All right, I'm gonna try and start somewhere away from the feed lock. These are great for breaking the bead. They do it, do it with ease. Alright, so this is where I'm going to do a little bit different. This is what I learnt off of watching Rocky uh, Rocky Mountain ADV. And what they did, they uh, broke the bead on both sides and lifted off both sides. Opposed to grabbing your tube out like that way. So as you can see, if you um, break the bead on both sides, get the tyre off, push it down into that tyre, you get a lot of gap. Now, uh, it's a lot easier on the back one, but now I should be able to just push that out. Alright, so there you go. Just take it off, the tube's still in the tyre. All ready for the uh, new tyre to go on. All right, so after uh, getting this tyre off, I was having a look at the, the rim tape, and I can see all little holes around it, where the spokes have actually worn through that tape. So I thought, instead of putting that back on, I thought, bugger, I just went out and bought a new one. Um, and the tube that was in it was just a standard tube. It's only a really thin tube and I can see it's been wearing wearing a bit so uh, but while I've got it off um, bought a new one um, now this one is actually an extra extra heavy duty and um look at the size of that it is the rubber is actually four mil thick it's bloody almost as thick as a tyre, so I'm going to put that one in. It's going to be a real bitch to get in. Yeah, so, new tape lock, and uh, that was actually $5.90 for the tape lock, which is pretty good. The tube, I've never spent so much on the tube in my life. That was actually $46.90, uh, Peter Stevens. For the V-rubber. Motocross tubes, super heavy duty, but I thought, you know, spend a bit extra on it. It could be good uh, security in the f for the future, you know, you might be out in the middle of nowhere. and uh, It should resist punches a lot better, because I've seen the standard ones just tear apart and they're unrepairable. So, yeah, so I'll get that on shortly. This is one hell of a tough tyre.
All right, so this may seem strange, but I am going to pull this bead back off the other side. All right, so you can see if you get it sitting in the bottom of the tire, you've got plenty of room up here to get to your valve. In. That was easy. This is my little air compressor. It's made by Whites. It's just a little unit I plug where I plug into where my USB is. Uh, works quite well. I've got a switch, little hose. Just got to pull it out of there, like so. So I've got a lead running from my battery up to the USB here, which you can turn on and off. So we'll simply just unplug from there. Now I can uh, plug my compressor onto that. I'm just going to put a little bit of air in this tube just to, so I don't pinch it maybe. I've got to say these 606s are one of the toughest tyres I've ever put on. Um, and this is the thickest tube I've ever put on So I'm gonna lube that up again See if I can get her on All right, got one side on Oh, well, that was even easier, wasn't it? It's on. Now, I know I'm at home and I could have used a clamp on that, would have made it easier to pull that into the rim, but. I'm trying to do this as, as though I was in the bush and God I hope I never have to do this in the bush that is one tough one tough tire one tough tube all right just fingers crossed I haven't pinched that bloody tube pump her up I'm up to 35 35 psi but it still hasn't popped 40 psi probably up to 50 psi Check this again later with the proper gauge. All right, I'll do up my bead lock and then uh, whack her back on the bike. All right, guys, so you've all heard of Murphy's Law. Well, as I just finished pumping this tire up, I noticed there was a directional arrow. And guess what? I had it on the wrong side, on the wrong way. Uh, so that was a lesson learnt. So what I'd done, had a little break, had a cuppa. I'll come back out. Took the tire off again and just put it back on. But um, like the first time I was doing hard, I was just using these spoon spoon ones, which are great for taking it off, but not so good for putting on. But so I think in my tool kit, I'm going to carry two of these little flat ones as well. So five tire levers all up because um, it's they're just such a tough tire to get on. That's what you really need. So yeah, it's on now. I'll put it back on the bike and have a little bit of a ride around, wear it in, hit some dirt and see how I go from there. Alright, thanks for watching.